Okay, we're live. We just got to wait for everybody to show up. I need to put your paints away. Okay, we're on live chat. Hi, Terry. Hi, Carmen. Hi, Stacy. No, not that one. The other one. Yep. Hello, Judy. Hi, Jennifer. Is it good to do the intro? Hello, Tina. Wait for everybody to jump on. Got some people here. Hi, Denise. Denise, I got your email. I'm glad you got the card. Hi, Maricela. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Lee. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Sparkle Miss. Hello, Laura. All right. Let me give you guys a little background here as I back up. <laughs> so I live in a double or a twin house where my house is the, uh, I share a house with the neighbors, I should say. So I have a half a house. <laughs> so when you come down the steps here, you can either make a right or left. And if you go to the right, that's like basically all storage. I'm really not going to show you guys this area because it's super messy right now. <laughs> yeah, terrible, right? It's the See? paint room. It's the room where we do painting and we put all the Christmas decorations in there. But um, we have not cleaned it up. So this is the side that we go to, which is to the left. And it's kind of hard to show everything on the iPad here. Now remember... My mom was living with me, so these big industrial sewing machines, these are hers. These are all her bins of thread and zippers and... This is hers, this is hers, this is hers. This is all mom's professional this is hers, this is hers, sewing this is hers. stuff. I'm trying to hold this iPad and not jiggle it around. I'm so sorry. Okay, so ignore all it. of that stuff. <laughs> I'll hold it. Hi, Stephanie. So if you look at my old video, those black chairs used to be over here where her big desk is. So that the kids could watch TV right there. And now we have a little mini fridge down here. This is kind of Leah's corner over here right now in the winter time. Um, she has like her little kitchen out and her little painting easel. But over here, this will all get moved soon because as it gets warmer out. In fact, I have someone coming over here in about an hour. This goes outside to our patio. So, um, I'm getting replacement doors because these doors are really old. Hi, Kim. So, um, there you can see my crappy yard. It goes down the hill that way and up the hill over here this way. But anyway. That's the neighbor's yard over there. So, once it warms up, we'll, we'll have the doors wide open. I don't have air conditioning down here. I do have two ceiling fans and I have baseboard heat. So, it's pretty good all year round. Um... Uh, Leah, um, um, Grammy says hi. Hi. <laughs> so, and then that's my mom's dress form over there in the mirror, of course. So, once mom comes to get all of her stuff, we'll get our room back. And we'll do another room tour once we clean it out. Yes. Stuff. That is Bucky, my dad's Bucky. big deer. And then the kids have TV, Xbox. We don't really use it too much every once in a while, but we really don't watch as much TV as we used to. Is the resin video posted? What? Is the resin video posted? No, it's not. Not yet. Okay, so don't okay. tell them this. All right, so really my space starts after we go past the chairs here. Um, we'll start with Leah's corner. My corner. Like so we this. just moved Leah's desk around. Yeah. I wish I could, like, zoom out with this camera. Nope, can't do it. All right, um, so in front of Leah, if you want to pull the black part off of there, is this rolling cart, which has now just become a junk collector. There you go. So there's a whole bunch of those bins in there. Wait, Hello Kitty. <laughs> and it's just a whole bunch of um, bins scrapbook paper, stickers, stuff. Yeah, I just kind of cover it up and try not to look at it. I see. Hi, Leanne. Hi, Christine. Hi, Roxanne. 
Hi, oh. Chow. Okay, so we moved Leah's desk, and Leah's chair and desk are Ikea. And there you can see more scrapbooking paper bins. Yeah. So, so Leah, when I'm filming, Leah sits over here with her headphones on, and she'll usually be doing, like, math assignments or playing roadblocks or watching YouTube and commenting. <laughs> She's like my little assistant over here. Yeah. And then she has this wooden bookshelf. And that metal bookshelf is like junk. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can see there's ribbon up top there. It's um, any old stamps that I don't want that she wanted. She gets ink, Play-Doh, toys, board games. I mean, you can see this is all her her domain over here. Markers, everything. So she's got a pretty big area for a little person. Tell them um, the, uh, yeah. that, the wall thing. Okay. The wall thing? They'll see that. Okay, so over here I have one of these turnabout things, and it has, like, little embellishments and big em So at top it has, like, all, like, little diamonds and stickers and stuff. And again... Yeah, these are cool. Was great when I was big into scrapbooking. I just haven't done a whole bunch of scrapbooking. And we're going to get back into that. Then these drawers are... Um, I think this is also Ikea. But there's big 12 by 12 paper in there, too. Go ahead and close it. So that would be like wedding paper. Open the next one. This one? Yeah, I just haven't labeled them yet. So Americana, like picnic paperwork. Go ahead for picnic papers. Oh, I show them this one. That one is like acetate and transparency papers. No. Second yep. one. Oh, I love this one. It's like starry night stuff. Go ahead and close it. All right. So then over here, this basket is all my Halloween stuff. I just haven't put it in a closet yet. And there you can see more 12 by 12 drawers labeled baby glitter, foil, holographic sheets, stuff like that. And then this Ikea unit, you guys may have seen Leah and I do a video on this. It's a just full of paper. So it's all scrapbook paper, embellishment, stickers, all of that good stuff. And now these little drawers are Ikea drawers and the paper that's in them is eight and a half by 11 paper and any usable sizes of scratch paper or scrap paper, whatever you want to call it. So they're in there. Um, Leah, can you open these white drawers for me? So this one has our mermaid sequin ribbon. Close it. I didn't know where those were. Next drawer down. I think this is my Tim Holtz embellishments. Okay. Next drawer. This is like spring stuff. So I have like um, St. Patrick's Day, February, like Valentine's, and butterflies, March, stuff like that. Keep going. Last yep. one. And then this one is large background stamps that are still wood mounted. Okay. And this is all them? Ikea. And then there's my little Cricut iron thing. This is like postal supplies, more stamps. And then in these little gray baskets, do you want to open those up? Sure. That one has like miscellaneous card kits. So it's like Crafter's Companion card kits. Go ahead, close it. This one. This one is Arteza. all of my Arteza paint supplies markers. Uh, um, I actually need to find another place because you can see that's filled up. Yeah. Going. It's heavy too. Okay. This one is foil papers. Yep. Kind of dark. Yep. And this, this one? one is my make your own stamp. Leave that in there. Close it. That's the stamp machine, stamp maker. And then this one is the bigger Tim Holtz stuff. Paper stamps. So push all those back in. And then out, down at the bottom are just some random books, picture books, picture old box. year books, things like that. Some are coloring books. Did you show them? The this paper? is a basket I just pulled out of the closet, which is, again, just miscellaneous scrapbook paper. And then here. Okay, this rack was a magazine rack that my old job was throwing away, and I snatched it up. And again, just put some random papers in there. Hi, Charlotte. These are some of the completed scrapbooks I have done. That's up a lot. Up top is my laminator and some dried flowers. That's a lot of books. Um, yeah, these are all done scrapbooks. Ta-da! <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of old picture books and scrapbooks. Hi, Rose. And then this is the drying what rack. I say the drying rack. So my friend's husband, um, 
I think he made this, but I'm not sure. My friend Kim gave it to me, but it's a card display rack. So you can put your cards on there like in a little store and display them. But because it has these little butterfly um, screws on there, it's adjustable. So what I do is when I have something with glitter or paste or like transparent, when I'm doing the paste through the stencils, Go ahead, Leah, go ahead and demonstrate. Like we just lay it in it there, here. and we let it dry. We don't have to worry about anybody touching it. Yeah, because it's, like, down deep. Yep. And you can easily, like, pull it down and get your card out. Yeah, I'm not going to lie and say I don't have an Ikea credit card. I sure do. This, I showed before, is a large Ikea dresser unit. This was for my son's room when he was a baby. It doesn't fit upstairs in the new house. You can see it almost touches the ceiling down here in the basement. So I've taken it over, and I'll show you that in just a second. Hi, Sandra. Las Vegas. I'm going to take a step back here. On this cabinet is my computer cabinet. Up top is my large 12 by 12 printer, which probably has not been used in five years. <laughs> this is the printer I was having an issue with. Mm -hmm. And then here's where I sit and do my computer stuff, my editing. There's a printer um, down there. The there's a photo there. printer down there, and then there's my laser printer. So four printers in one spot, and then, of course, my computer. Hi, Fox Girl. Hi, Caroline. All right. Caroline, from my can you push the chair back? Yeah, if you can get to an Ikea, definitely take your wallet and somebody's big truck. And then you got to figure out how to put it all together. So this is another Ikea unit. Leah, right there, you're going to open this up. Okay. On top is my silhouette machine, and there is some of the um, heat transfer vinyl and um, regular vinyl. Okay, open the bottom cabinets first. Underneath is some ink and that little thing there. Pull that little plastic thing out from underneath there. Hi, Bernie. Uh, this? Yep, just slide it out. So those are some inks um, from Retired Stampin' Up. So you can put those back. Okay. That's uh, Christmas stamps and paper in there. Go ahead and close it. And ornaments. That little basket holds just some miscellaneous Cricut pieces. These are all the things that I use with my silhouette. So um, my cutting mats, transfer ta uh, tape, the foil quill, um, stencil, um, stuff like that. Anything that has to do with the silhouette is in there. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, Leah's in first grade now. She's going to school online. This little pile is starting to become our 15,000 subscriber giveaway pile, which we're getting there very quickly. This is my new Gemini. I haven't put it away yet. We're not giving that away. <laughs> There's a big trash can and more Ikea stuff. So this is the corner where everything happens. So you can see I have a light there. The light kit actually came with like four lights, but I only really use one. This is the area um, that she does the videos and stuff. I'll show you guys up here. Up there are some canvases for like painting, poster board. That's my husband, Tim McGraw, in case you didn't know. Um, so up here, again, just miscellaneous stuff. Six by six papers, a little water coloring caddy thing, which never worked for me. I don't know why I still have it. Um, in here, more six by six papers, small pieces of paper, um, just all kinds of paper. And then as you open the drawers, this drawer has all of my background stamps. So these are all full six by six background stamps. So Impression Obsession, Stampin' Up, Hero Arts. I keep all of the big background stamps in there. And here are all of my embossing folders. <laughs> Lisa, you can have them. I'm having an affair with, um, what's his name? Chris Young. <laughs> um, this is like larger Sizzix pieces. So I still have some of these large Sizzix Tim Holtz dies. The longer Tim, uh, Sizzix Big Kick mats. Some Hello Kitty dies. So the Big Cuts dies are in there. And then in here, my original love started with pens. So in here are all of my fountain pens and my inks. And if I could pull this box out, all of the original boxes for my fountain pens. So I love, love, love fountain, fountain pens, pens and inks. And that's where this all started. And then the bottom two drawers are just junk. I'm not going to open those. Um, 
in the big cabinet here, there's some miscellaneous like hot glue stuff up there, crafting stuff, I would say, scissors and things like that. And then here is where the foiling lives now. And I just cleaned all this up and made it nice and pretty. So I have my Creative Vision stamps foil, my hot foils, my little Cricut basket, um, the Spellbinders machine, the foil press machine. And then down there is miscellaneous foil items like my foil uh, my foilables are in that big pink container that you can see there. Where's my finger? There we go. <laughs> so that's the foilables all in that container. This little container are all my hot foil dies. And then there's the extra mini um, mink, the Heidi Swap foils. And then my foiling bits are in that little box there. Okay. We're getting around here. Area I'm going to start with behind my desk since we're already over here. Okay. So. There's a skinny bookshelf here, and at the top in that orange basket are chalks with little chalk accessories. In the very top shelf are my alcohol inks and the little basket with the alcohol blending solution, alcohol brushes, sprayers, stuff like that. The only thing this can... is pan pastels on the right side here. So my pan pastels, my little basket of pan pastels. This is just a little thing of Q-tips. And then over here are my most used papers, like my little uh, matte paper, glossy papers, any kind of specialty papers that are small are in here. And then here we have my white paper. So I'm always grabbing from here. This is my Nina paper. And then I just have white paper, black paper, specialty paper again. These are coloring things. So my Arteza color pencils are in those two Arteza containers. So one's watercolor and one's regular. Those are my Prismacolor pencils. My markers are in there, and the back are the Spectrum Noir um, brush pens and the Twee markers. And then down here are my Arteza um, alcohol markers, so the grays, the skin tones, the regulars, and my sparkle markers are in that little silver Tim Holtz thing. And then yesterday you guys saw me grab, these are my antique stamp binders. <laughs> So they're just old binders where I used to store my stamps. That's where the older stamps are. And then that Anna Griffin Treasury was a big waste of my money. I think I got two sets of stamps out of there and canceled it. <laughs> All right, next to that, go back up again. There are more of my Heidi Swap original foils. Some of the cards that I have made or been given. Some more cards. Here is one of those Ikea wall unit things where I have my Nuvo drops and my Distress Oxide sprays, my Versafine Claire inks, my Stampin' Up inks, the little basket on the right are all the cards that I've made, um, the shirt and the infusible ink are because Leah and I were supposed to make shirts for the stamp show, but clearly that did not happen. Okay, and then over here I have some ink pads. These are like Lawn Fawn, um, The Ton, Memories, they're, um, just miscellaneous felt ink pads, Gina K, things like that. Um, the, these are the basket of cards you guys have sent me. This is from Stampin' Storage, I believe, yes. Made the ink pad holder, this thing. Okay, and then in this other Ikea unit. <laughs> now, you got to keep in mind, this is 20 years of collecting Ikea furniture. I didn't buy this all in one shot. This is my little sequins drawer. So I have all my little sequins in these little containers. Yeah, it's Stampin' Storage for the um, ink pads. So this is just all sequins. This drawer is envelopes which I need to buy some more. Okay, This drawer is, actually both of these drawers are embossing folders. So I have my um, coffee filters and my anti-static. But these are all my embossing powders here and here. So I have a whole bunch of embossing powders. And then down in the bottom here, this is my old big kick trusty old guy there. And over here, um, these are my perfect pearls and the new micas I just got from Arteza. 
and Swiffer to clean it up. Why is this not closing? Closed before. Okay. Anyways. Okay, back up to the top again. <laughs> Alright, so all the way on the left, that ink pack pad the ink pad holder that's hanging on the wall. My friend Kim's husband again made that for me because Kim's husband is just awesome. awesome. Um, so over all the way on the left are the stays on inks and the hero arts ombre inks are to the right. Um, in that middle section that I believe is a wall unit from Michael's. So you can see my embossing paste are at the top glitter paste are in the middle and I haven't showed the stamps yet. MW, um, Gina K glitter glitz, Brutus Monroe glitter all in the middle there. Nouveau in the glitter. And then sprays are under that and ribbons under that. And I probably use ribbon the least. And then underneath are my sparkle inks from, yes, a lot of Brutus Monroe stuff in there. Um, the sparkle inks from Spectrum are on that bottom shelf there, which I have a whole bunch more coming, so I'm going to have to move those. Then my little Tim Holtz spinny thingy for my distress inks are in there. That's all going to have to be moved because I have a lot more inks coming, so they're not going to fit there anymore. This is the retired Stampin' Up! spinner. So these are my retired inks that are in here. And then I have some reinkers in the top there. I don't have very many reinkers, you guys. Like, that's pretty much it. And what's on the wall there? Those are my distress inks. I don't really buy reinkers. This is the cabinet with the ribbon. This is a this is a Michaels. This whole thing is a Michaels thing. This whole piece. Um. Then over there is my little laptop bag, some punches, little trash can. Over here is just miscellaneous like cleaning supplies, refreshers. There's the Heidi Swap um, texture paste and sprays and mink stuff there. This is paint brushes, just again miscellaneous stuff. This little thing is kind of where stuff goes and never gets seen again. Actually, I have little embellishments in here. So every once in a while when I make a wedding card, let me see if they're in here. Okay, here we go. Every once in a while when I make a wedding card, I put these fancy little doodads on the outside. They're like little, I don't know what you call them, starfish and hearts and stuff. So I buy them like a couple at a time. I know, the trash can's cute. That's why I couldn't, I couldn't resist it. It's so tiny. But it's good, like if you're sitting at the desk and you're doing like crops and stuff, little pieces go in there in there and then up top again oops got my hand in the way just miscellaneous pens and glues and things like that all right now we're gonna get to the stamps ouch oh underneath is just more scrapbook paper and oh, Peter. this is all punches in here i know we were talking about that the other day i think me and stacy were joking about it so back in the day we all had punches right and then that's just all more scrapbooking paper there. Okay, starting with the stamps. Up top there is a little box of ribbons. And that box to the left, I'll pull it down. This is my photo shoot box, I call it. So I pick up little random things, you know, when we're making cards and we have to take pictures of them. Depending on who the design team is, sometimes they want a background, sometimes they want the stamp, sometimes they just want the picture. So these are just little trinkets I picked up to put next to my cards when I'm doing pictures. Hi, D. Okay, so that goes up there. All right, here are the majority of my stamps. So most of them are there. Um, it doesn't look like a lot, but it is a lot because of the way that I've changed my organization. So I used to keep all of them in those little Stampin' Up! DVD cases, even the ones that weren't Stampin' Up! And I put them up there like, like books. And it ended up taking up more space. And I think I get like five times more storage by doing it this way. 
So it's a ton of stamps because now that they're not in those DVD cases, these are little Ikea, or not Ikea, Target baskets. They're like in the kids section. And I can store each basket with stamps like this. So they take up less space than having a whole bunch of these cases. So I can get a lot more stamps in here and I can squeeze a couple in on the side. Let me put that back up there. So I have them by basic, my organization. Some people like to keep them by manufacturer. I do for my design team stuff, but I have it basically um, animals, beach, fishing, stuff like that. Um, baby, boys and girls. These are two ink pad holders that are actually display cases. My mom used to have um, a beauty supply store. And so these were display cases where she could put little trinkets and stuff. And then they would lock from this side, obviously. So people would want like little bracelets and things. So I put my distress oxides in this side. And my regular distress inks on this side. Plus, when the kids were little, you know, I didn't want them getting into stuff, so. This is the Anna Griffin um, large embossing folders are in there, the really long ones. And then the only stamps I have broken out by manufacturer are my Blue Night Rubber stamps, which are in that big blue bin. My Kitchen Sink stamps, which are in this big bin. And then my Creative Vision stamps are in that bin. Otherwise, everything else is all mixed up. Um... I don't know. I wish I could find more of these because these are really deep and really long. These white ones. I'll, I'll have to measure them and let you know. But I got them all from Target. All right. And then this little kind of display cabinet over here. The, I found that um, wooden rack um, on eBay. Um, and I just put my wooden stamps on there just to look at them. Those are not necessarily stamps that I use anymore. It's just cool to see them up there. And then more punches that I pretty much use more frequently. Um, over here, this is, again, more. Those are little cardboard things that I found at, I don't know, some kind of sale somewhere. It was only a couple bucks. I want to say Target again. Um, but I put, I thought I had two of those. Where's the other one at? Oh, right there. Donuts. Um, so my Nouveau pastes are in there. My brushes are in there. My distress stains are in there. And then over here, I have miscellaneous, like gelatos, markers, washi tape. And in this little drawer, that's all washi tape. This is all washi tape. And then down here are little miscellaneous things like eyelets, brads, um, my wax stamp seals, this is like Mod Podge and spray adhesive, my jelly plates, ultra thick embossing powder. So just miscellaneous sponge daubers, little magnets. Here's some more Brad's eyelets, eyeballs, my little Bose speakers. And then in this is all of my trimmers because I have so many of them. Down at the bottom is miscellaneous junk. Um, this is all paint supplies in here. So these are all water coloring um, paints, paint punch sponges, things like that. Down in the bottom is when I make Christmas ornaments. The stuff for the Christmas ornaments is in there. And this has just become a basket of magazines in there. Um, when I'm sitting at the desk, this is what I'm looking at when I am filming. So to the right here, you guys always see me, hear me reaching to the right. This is where I keep my microfiber towels. I actually just got done washing all of them. So these have all been cleaned, even though they're stained. They've all just came out of the washer and dryer, and they're all nice and clean now. And then inside my spray bottle here is just some Hero Arts Cleaner and some water. This came out of a um, Walmart or Kmart. It's, a, it's for the kitchen. It's a kitchen storage unit. So it just hangs on a door. Down at the bottom are all my stencils in this basket here. I don't have a whole bunch of stencils. That's that's it right there. One little basket. Okay, oops, that didn't belong in there. 
So one basket of stencils. And then in the top, so I have some dies there. These are the ones that I just never kept the packaging for. Now I try to keep the packaging. This is my little, I didn't want to put it away yet, basket because I'm lazy. So this is from um, Harbor Freight. It's a magnet. And the men use this when they are um, working on cars and things. So these are my dies that I just didn't feel like putting away yet. So I just throw them in this little container so they don't get lost. And then I have one big basket of my dies in here. And like I said, I'm trying to keep the original packaging now and putting them in these little containers in here. So this would go in here. Now, I wouldn't say that I have a great memory, but I have a memory for what I like and what I own. So, dies. My big trimmer's under the desk. Leah will usually go under there and hide under there from Xavier or hang out. There's a little light under there, too. <laughs> um, the top of the desk, this is what I'm grabbing for the most. Do you have any flowers with this crafter's companion flower dies? I did not buy those. No, I do not. Here we go. Um, those are new stamps you can't see yet. I just made this with the new Arteza metallic watercolors. Wait till you guys see those. They're freaking awesome. Those are new pens Arteza just sent me. I have to try out. This is my little phone holder. So this is an Ot light. So there you can see, and it gives a clear light, so it's not um, like a lemon yellow color, so everything looks clearer, more colored. Um, back there's my distress sprayer, my water color, um, water bucket, whatever you want to call it, my big, big hole punch thing, crocodile. And then this little guy holds little odds and ends, so it's sharpeners, my mono eraser, but mostly everything that I grab for on a daily basis is right there. So my gel pens, my brushes, my um, blending brushes, my scissors, um, paint brushes. These go back here. And I do try to keep everything somewhat orderly. I do have a little bit of OCD. If you didn't pick up, everything's in rainbow order. <laughs> but I like to have my stuff always put away, always in the same place. And then go back up here. Let me go up. Okay, so up top there are miscellaneous small stamps. So, like you can see it says sympathy, birthday, babies, weddings. Not things that I use every day, but they're up there. Mis miscellaneous pieces of like fabric and stuff, tool. The little black container has my glitters in it, so I don't have a whole bunch of glitters. That's glitters there. These little cardboard containers have those... Um, enamel dots in them, um, diamonds, gems, sticky back stuff in there. Um, up there are some more cards that I've made and just maybe didn't finish. So it's kind of like the, eh, stick it up there and deal with it later pile. So there you can see my very small collection of Spectrum Noir alcohol markers and my Copic alcohol markers. That's all I got, guys. I really don't have that much. These are my new little reading glasses. That's it. I don't really have too many. So that's why, again, I get the, I on a budget, just like you guys. And so when I get the chance to try out stuff that's a little bit less expensive, that's why I like the Arteza stuff. You guys, I don't have the money to be buying Copic markers when they're six, seven dollars each. So I can get a whole set from Arteza for 50, 60 bucks. Taking it. This is where my iPad mounts for when I'm filming. And then over here is, um, blocks my acrylic blocks are in here my sticky stuff is in here so this is all acrylic blocks this is acrylic blocks in here this is my little scrubby my little sticky eraser my little sharpener and then in here is adhesive so any kind of pop dots or vellum tape is in there down here in here are missile is my um stamp on the jig alignment in here is extra scissors i think yes extra scissors and then in here is extra glue glossy accents this is my scrap box where our little tiny pieces get shoved in there that I might be able to use later this shelf here this whole thing let me move baby joy mini mink is over there in the corner 
Okay, so this whole shelf here, this is an Anna Griffin shelf, and it's the perfect size to sit on the desk. So it has a shelf up top, it has the three little drawers, and then you have these two shelves. And these shelves are the perfect size for me to put in my little, so you guys always see me reaching. Um, this is my score buddy, my mini Misty. And then these little containers also came from Target, and I just store little miscellaneous pieces in here, cut out stuff. Um, whoops. My ink, most used ink pads are right there at my fingertips. Right there, right there's the trimmer, the man, the myth, the legend. And then, of course, I have my glass mat, and I have this little rubber mat underneath it, just to make it easier for when I'm cleaning. Now, my desk is probably the most favorite feature of my room. Um, this is an Ikea desk, but they no longer make it, which is sad because this desk is the best desk ever. So it's three sections. You have the drawers on the left. You could customize this any way you want. And then I have the cabinet on the right. But here's what's cool is my desk is actually a glass top, and it's raised a couple of inches here. And it's sectioned off. So on this side, I have my large tonic um, stamp platform, my large Misty. I have my, excuse me, my Stampin' Up! magazines over here. But they all fit in this little shelf under the desk. And then over here, all my little mini inks. So when you guys see me grabbing these, they're literally right here at my fingertips. And then here is another Stampin' Storage mini thing. So I'll probably buy another one of these so I don't have to use these little tins anymore. But the little stamp and storage thing is so cool. And everything just slides right here. But Ikea doesn't make this desk anymore. It's a great desk. I would cry if something happened to this desk. So when you guys see me filming, the iPad's there. This is what I see. And then I usually have my phone sitting here so I can read comments, but my face, my hands are here and I just have to remember to look over there and read the comments. And then off to the left, um, like I said, mini Misty's over, I mean, mini Mink is over there. I have little baby Joy plugged in right there. In the drawer here are my um, adhesive runners, pens, miscellaneous stuff, um, tape, like three, uh, red tape, clear tape, foam tape, um, this is big adhesive, so sheets of adhesive, and then also my, um, what do you call those things? Alcohol ink pads and distress ink pads. That's garbage. It's empty. More tape. Uh, more refills, a label maker, a ribbon straightener, which is actually a travel hair straightener. These stencil brushes that'll never get used. And miscellaneous rulers, tags, adhesive remover, stuff like that. This is a little filing cabinet that I intentionally bought to do well with, like bills and stuff. Yeah, that never happened. There's labels in there right now. This is the drawer for the plates for the big cut, I mean the big shot or the Gemini. This one is like tool ribbon, burlap, um, those kinds of things. And here is my Gemini plates and my purple tape and my, my little Sizzix thing. And then the trash can sits right there. And there is where Gemini Junior sits. So when you guys hear me running it through, I'm going from the desk over to here. And then I have one of those big lights there, which helps me out. And then I have a light, a light mounted there, and I put vellum over it so it's not so harsh. And then I have the ot light, and then I have the big light over here. So <laughs> all these lights. So that is my space. So hopefully you guys have some ideas. I try to keep my most used stuff out and visible. I like to put things away, but I find if I put them away, they don't get used. Um, I really do not buy any of those ink pads anymore. So like Lawn Fawn, the ton, um, 
those kinds of stamp pads. I really don't buy them because I don't use them. The inks that I use the most are right here, which would be um, the Stampin' Up! ink pads. I just like the spongy ink pads. And I like the Versifying Claire ink pads because they're spongy as well. So these are my most go-to stamp pads usually. I know you guys don't see that because I always use the Ulta New Mini inks, but that's what I use. And then, you know, this stuff's just fun and pretty to look at. I love having everything kind of in rainbow order. Everything is easy for me to find. There are some things I should probably part with. I will say about a year ago, I purged a lot. I gave away all of my pigment ink pads and have not looked back. Um, my sister gave me, gifted me with the Distress Oxide, so it wasn't hard to do. Um, so yeah. Where are my alcohol inks? My alcohol inks are on this top shelf up here. And take these pencils down. So this is my alcohol ink shelf. So there are my two alcohol ink tins. And then this little basket is my, all my alcohol ink, like spare supplies, lending solutions, my little uh, nonstick craft pad, things like that. And I kind of keep them up and out of the way again. And then I don't trust my kids, but I don't trust other people's kids. Then my pan pastels are here. And then all my miscellaneous papers are here. So I had intentions of maybe doing a little scrapbook. So now I'm going to put you guys on the shelf here. My hand might get on the way. Right? I've been doing it for 20 years too, Sparkle Miss. Exactly. So just depending on what I'm filming, like right now the hot light is in view right there. So I will usually turn that off and then you guys will see some of that. But if I'm working on something, like I will try to intentionally put something there so the glare doesn't bother you. Sparkle Miss, yes, I used to have, here, I'll show you. I have this little card. Then I laugh because I don't have a husband. <laughs> My ex-husband's coming over to measure the doors to put new doors in for me. <laughs> and my kids are really good about it because they know this is mommy's happy place. They, they see the joy in it. Um... You know, they, they like the YouTube stuff. I don't. Everything I do is on my phone or on my iPad. I just use a cheapy iPad, you guys. Um, I just, the only thing I really invested in is the lights. And the lights were really, I want to say 60 or 70 bucks. They weren't that expensive. They came with, I think it's four lights and four stands. Two small ones and two big ones. And they have this umbrella to diffuse it you can put the umbrella in front of the light it doesn't glare so i like how bright it is and because i'm in the basement and i'm in the far corner of the room there is no natural light over here so you know for the kids when they're playing and stuff there's plenty of natural light but for me there is no natural light over here So I haven't changed a whole bunch. I would love to get an unlimited spending amount and just do a whole nice like storage, stamp and storage craft room, like a Jennifer McGuire room would be wonderful. But I picked up really guys one piece at a time, one piece at a time over the last 20, 20 years. It has been 20 years. Yeah. So I was going to do some scrapbooking. I have some pictures I printed out today. I think we'll do these couple fishing pictures of uh, Miss Leah. Let me grab my phone so I can see your comments. And the thing is, just to not get overwhelmed with it, it's a hobby. It's supposed to be fun. Um, if you feel like you're getting overwhelmed, 
put it down, walk away from it. And I think that's where a lot of people get kind of fed up with this hobby is they don't know where to start. They don't know where to end. Um, let me turn everything down here. You see my chats? Um, I have purchased used supplies. If you go to yard sales, if you go to, um, thrift stores, Salvation Army, things like that, a lot of people, um, retire or they have a family or they just don't do it anymore. And so, um, you know, there's a lot of supplies out there that you can get. A lot of people, when they're demonstrators, get rid of old stuff as soon as they retire. I keep some of my old stuff. Um, that's correct. Creative Vision Stamps Foil cannot be used for hot foiling. It's only to be used with some kind of adhesive. So double foil tape or sticking it to alcohol ink or... Um, mink foiling. Yeah. So, you know, start small. I mean, when I first started out my first house, it was, it was a bookshelf. Like I had a bookshelf and that was it. So you got to start small and learn to purge and stuff that you're not using. You got to just move on with it, unfortunately. And that's hard for us to do as hoarders because we feel like we put so much money into it. So what I've been doing is putting stuff in a box that I feel I can do without and then um, use that stuff either as a giveaway or donate or give to my friends. Um, I've been giving stuff to my stepkids, but they've been giving it back. <laughs> so um, if you find that you can put it in a box and walk away from the box and not go looking for it, like I have somewhere a huge box of buttons. I haven't used buttons in I don't know how long. So clearly I don't need the buttons anymore. Um, ribbon is something I don't use a lot of. So you can see I didn't have a lot of ribbon because I don't use a lot of ribbon. So stuff like that. Margaret, I would say yes, exactly what Tracy's saying. If you can afford to find a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, that's how I started with stamping, is I got my supplies at a discount and I wasn't trying to sell it. I Even now I'm not trying to sell it. I'm just trying to stay in. But um, that's how I collected my inks and my papers and stamps. Speaking of Barbara, we got happy mail today. And Barbara, this is so stinking cute. And I love how you even wrapped it in plastic. This is great. This is great. I said, Leah, the Easter bunny brought you something. There's a little sparkle in the ears, Barbara. She loved it. This is just completely adorable. And the way you popped it up, this is definitely not something I would have ever have thought of making. You just did such a fabulous job with it, Barbara. So I had that extra back room back there. I'm going to try to clean that up, but really it's house store. Just got Christmas supplies and all that in there. She did. She loved it. You guys are great. Margaret, you should be able to search for a Stampin' Up! representative. There's no store. There's a representative that sells it out of their house. So on the back table here, you guys may have noticed I pulled a couple of my little plastic drawers out. My little, um, because I was like, well, maybe I'll do some scrapbooking here. So these are just miscellaneous pieces I've picked up over the years. Like I said, you guys saw all the scrapbooks. Nancy used to be really into scrapbooking. And then I kind of just got away from it. Okay, so these are all fly fishing. I don't want to use those.
totally not even the papers that I wanted. Okay, hold on. Gotta find something else. Hold on. Um, one thing I do do is cheat. I like pattern paper. I don't like to make my own backgrounds. happens when you don't put stuff away, Nance. Ow, that hurt. Is that one? It's more like pool water, though. Alaska's on my bucket list for sure. have a fishing pack. Here. My neighbors are out there doing fireworks. A lot of times I pick up these paper packs on sale at like Tuesday morning or something. This I think is like a dollar store find here. Mm, I don't know, $2.99 for paper. Sometimes this paper is just really cheapy, though, so you get what you pay for. Just keep that in mind. get a little fishier. So first thing I do is I buy cheap scrapbooks. I wish AC, AC Moore used to sell these like three for ten dollars. They're um but they have the plastic protectors in them so I don't have to fuss with putting the pages in and out. There are not very many pages in here. And so 20 pages, right, front and back. So, um, and I like keeping the white paper in here that comes in here just to give it some stability. But, like, I'll put on here 2020, and then I already printed out some, like, January photos. This paper needs to be cut down a little bit.
Most of these are universal to 12 by 12 size. And then I just do a couple pictures at a time. If you print out a whole album of photos, you're not going to do it. Like you're, you're just going to look at it. You're going to get overwhelmed. You're not going to do it. So I normally do three to four pictures on a page, figure out what I'm going to do for journaling. A lot of times I do like to mat my photos. And when I do my scrapbooking, I use my tape runner. Mr. Jim is here. Okay. Does he need me? He doesn't need me. And don't be afraid to cut your photos down. These are from the other night. So these are four by six. So I'm going to make it a little bigger. And this is, this is what I do. I eyeball it. You remember, scrapbooks are not supposed to be perfect. They're called scrapbooks for a reason. And they're designed for you to save your memories to share with your kids and your grandkids and your loved ones, okay? So having your own photos in there, whether the photo is good or not, does not matter. What matters is the memory associated with that. And having um, your handwriting in there is a huge thing because I can't tell you how many photo albums I've gone through family members and there's no words. I don't know who the people are. I don't know what's going on. Like write that stuff down. And I think it's ironic because my Xavier's father is here and he's the one that got me into scrapbooking. So I will like totally be surprised if he comes down here and says, hi everybody. I'm the one that got Nancy into scrapbooking. <laughs> But my two patio doors, one the one I just showed you for down here and the one for the deck, they're, the frame is starting to rot. And I don't want to go into this winter in case we have a bad winter with bad doors. So I asked him to come over here and see if he, he's not working right now, obviously, with everything that's going on. So I'm like, well, why don't you come over here and put some new doors in for me? So I can get three photos now because this one is what I want to be my focal image. This one I will probably double mat just so it stands out. So I'll show you guys that. Um, I used to use glue stick. I don't use glue stick anymore because it the, the pictures would peel up. Um, I also used to use like temporary dotto adhesive. Same thing. The... Um, adhesive would peel up so I use a tape runner now and I'll show you the tape runner I use and it used to be able to go to stamp shows and pick up the refills fairly cheap I know a lot of people have the ATG gun I don't have that um, but the you can't pick these refills up except where I find them is Hobby Lobby has them three for twenty dollars or something like that and then you use your coupon so it's this one, the Glue Arts Gun Glider. And when you start a project like this, you don't have to finish it. Just, you know, start it, go back to it. It's like, that's the fun about making cards is I think, you know, it's kind of instant gratification because you get into it depending on how detailed you want to make it. You can make a card in 10 minutes. Something like this, a little more detail to it. You don't have to finish it. Just keep that in mind. You don't have to feel overwhelmed. Just do one or two pages at a time. And before you know it, you'll be done. Is that Mr. Jim over there? I just told them you're the you're the reason why I have all of this IKEA furniture and this money pit hobby of mine. <laughs> and 14,000 subscribers. So you can't go back. <laughs> He's got a glass. 
glasses and mask on, you guys. There's no coronavirus here. And there's Lysol upstairs if you need to spray yourself down. <laughs> How did he manage that? He managed that because he had a lot of friends and a lot of hobbies. And when I moved here, I was the new person and I didn't know anybody. And he was going bowling and going and to the movies and what do you call that paintball and he would go out with his friends all the time and never be home and so when we started dating and we got married lived together all that good stuff I was like bored out of my mind but I didn't want to go do all the stuff that he was doing and he saw like my pens and my stationary collection because I've had those forever and he goes why don't you try scrapbooking you're always you're always taking pictures of everything and you don't do anything with them why don't you try scrapbooking and it started from there so this is all his fault What are you taking a picture of? He bought me my first laser printer, and we used to print photos and everything off of it. There was this ginormous thing. It was the size of a small refrigerator, a big laser printer we used to have. So they say things in three or in odd numbers are more appealing. I will do three to four pictures on a page. Um, I like to conserve my space on my paper. I know some people do one, one picture. So what I'll probably do is like I will put up here. Now I can grab all my stickers. Hopefully you guys can see everything. Uh, Carmen, he's not free. <laughs> I only ask when I absolutely have to ask. I will be helping him put these doors in this weekend. So if you guys don't see me, you'll know that Nancy is installing doors. I thought I had something that said, oh, like this one says it was this big. And sometimes like these clear stickers, you can put them right over your photos. You can put a little piece of paper under them. You can do stamping. Somewhere I have a sticker that says fishing. We'll just use this one. And then We'll usually just grab a little piece of cardstock. I mean, even what's left here, that'll work perfectly. We'll just, and I'm just gonna frame this up on here. I think he was happy because I stayed out of his hair and, um, you know, he could see my accomplishments of what I was getting out of it, you know, because we, we went on a lot of trips. We did a lot of traveling, so it was nice to be able to take these pictures together and put them in these big, beautiful scrapbooks, share them with family and friends. So then what I'll do is I will journal on here. I'm not going to stick that down yet in case I mess up my journaling.
Okay, and that's all it is. March 2020, Leah and I went to Beltsville to Pappy's spot. At first, nothing. Then I caught a small perch. Leah got the big perch. She was so excited. And I don't want to write that. I want to write it before I glue it down because if I messed it up, I can always write again on the back. Now, if you're somebody that hates your handwriting, I know there's people like that. Guess what? Print it out on the computer. Okay, now I'm just going to mat that. Stick it down right here under her photo. So the background doesn't matter. It's really pretty. You can see it's kind of florally and stuff like that. And good night, Tracy. And you can see we just put this together. If I wanted to add some more embellishments, you know, we have some cute stickers here we can always do. Uh, now you can just embellish it just like you would a, a card. And then all I do is put it in the scrapbook. And I can say it's done or I can say it's not done and come back to it later, put that in there, and then move on to something else. So it's really simple, easy to do. We all have cell phones now. We're all taking pictures. It's a few cents to print them out at um, Shutterfly. There's a lot, a lot of different photo companies. At your local Walmart, your local drugstore, if you have a photo printer at home. Um, again, it's just capturing that memory. So a whole bunch. All right, you guys, I got to go see this man about these doors. Thank you guys for hanging out tonight. I hope you picked up a couple things from the little tour. And we'll see you guys tomorrow night. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.